going into japan movie my expectations i shared in the trailer review was that this is going to be one hell of a hilarious ride i assumed that we would have many intelligent high scenes which may also have a lot of laughter either before or during or after the theft of course i assume like in money heist there is also going to be great social commentary about haves and have nots based on karthi's interview during the promotions about director rajamurgan being so intentional about his social messages in all of his films the social commentary was certainly there and in order to showcase it a separate story and thread is narrated in parallel with japan's story the narrative shows and informs us multiple times that both of these stories are linked and then in the end actually bringing them together to have an eruption of emotions for the characters on the screen as well as the audience together and it was certainly a good idea and an attempt but all of them fall very flat and if anything has already put us into boredom by then i have to say that i was deeply disappointed the trailer showcased as though the span of the movie was big but it wasn't by any stretch the canvas itself was small unlike for a big film that's supposed to be 25th film of karthi the quality and technicality of the film itself wasn't great many things felt fake same as many characters wearing duplicate fake gold i'll have to say that this film is weird in such a way that most actors did great yet the editing and making of this film is so hollow that you'll never be emotionally attached to any thing in this film the more shocking thing is that there is no humor or comedy even the very little slapstick comedy that is there is horrific if anything the last episode was little touching and any hardcore fan of karthik can hold on to that emotion and despite that it felt abrupt not because we want to know more but because of some void you'll come out of the theater thinking what did the storyteller wanted to say what did he say what did the actors think and do what did we take and understand karthi did great to keep us seated with his acting prowess in this aimless directionless and frivolous movie you would know that this is an incredible feat because this movie is like that karthi's choices have mostly been great but i'll have to say that everything went wrong with this choice i don't want to pile on more here i said generally only want to say good things about a movie movies and sports are only professions where you judge the actors and players publicly it can easily cross a line that can get into humiliation zone so i'll stop my outpouring of my disappointment restricting myself from getting into that zone even if you're a karthi's fan i'd say wait this one out until it comes on to ott to catch your favorite star and for all others you can skip it in the cinemas and on the ott